podcast. Let us explore the ultimate gem, crystal, fossil, mineral, and jewelry show in Las Vegas. The Jogs Gem Mineral and Jewelry Show. Plus, I'm going to present some of the crystals and minerals that I found at the gem show. So, let's dive in. Jogs Gem Mineral and Jewelry Show is held annually in Tucson, San Diego, and Las Vegas. Jogs International Exhibits is the company that is the driving force for putting together these amazing gem shows in the United States. And they have been in the industry for over 20 years. This ultimate gem show welcomes attendees and exhibitors from across the country and around the world. At Jog Show, you will find some amazing high quality gemstones, minerals, crystals, fossils, and lapidary tools from reputable exhibitors, including wholesalers and distributors. Here are the following crystals and minerals that I am going to present to you during this podcast. Here are Golden Healer Quartz, Congo Citrine, Imperial Topaz, Polychrome Jasper, and Libyan Desert Glass Tektite. Let's start with Congo Citrine. Check this out. Isn't this amazing? Congo Citrine is an amazing Kundalini Citrine and a super manifester. It helps to clear and activate the lower chakras that are associated with manifestation and creation work, which means uh, it's actually the root chakra, which is associated with grounding, and sacral chakra, which is associated with creativity. And for those of you who have watched my previous videos about citrine, and for those of you that don't know about citrine, citrine is a member of the quartz family that consists of silicon dioxide. It is a happy, sunny crystal, which is one of the high vibrational crystals for manifestation. Citrine is said to be the second most abundant mineral on earth next to clear quartz. Also, it is said to be the most popular gemstone in the quartz family. Citrine comes from Brazil, Zambia, Tanzania, Russia, Madagascar, Thailand, Bolivia, Mozambique, India, China, Namibia, France, Scotland, Nigeria, and Congo. The main cause to turn citrine yellow is ferric iron. The name citrine comes from the French word citron, which means lemon. Citrine comes from ver uh, a variety of shades. We have yellow, orange, brown, red, orange, and bicolor. It even has another variety of citrine, which comes from heat-treated amethyst. Some sources say that evidence suggests the heat from magma activity turns smoky quartz or amethyst into citrine. So Congo citrine has another name, which is called Kundalini citrine or smoky citrine. Sometimes it even is considered as smoky Congo citrine. So did you know that citrine is a crystal of wealth, abundance, joy, manifestation, prosperity, success, creativity, and happiness? So citrine is actually associated not just the root and sacral chakras, but it also associated with solar plexus chakra. Citrine is one of my favorite crystals uh, to use uh, for meditation to manifest wealth, abundance, success, prosperity, joy, creativity, 
and happiness. It even wards off negative energy. It has this beautiful sunny yellow color that I find it so uplifting and I highly recommend citrine. I've uh, also tried using Congo citrine during meditation and I actually find this type of citrine to be uplifting as well too. And in fact, this type of citrine kind of reminds me of this kind of root beer color, but it has some kind of golden yellow to it too, which is pretty amazing. And what's cool about this citrine, you can even also see the lines to it too. Cool. Next crystal that I'm going to show you is Golden Dealer Quartz. This one's pretty interesting though. And uh, actually, I haven't even worked with Golden Healer Quartz during meditation. And Golden Healer Quartz is also known as Yellow Hematoid Quartz. It's actually similar to Fire Quartz when it comes to its composition. Golden Healer Quartz uh, consists of Iron Oxide, which it is known as Yellow Hematoid quartz. Uh, hematite is also made of iron oxide. The only interesting part about yellow hematoid quartz is the way um, the iron oxide is mixed up. But I don't know exactly how it turns yellow. Fire quartz or red hematoid quartz also consists of iron oxide. Fire quartz is known as red hematoid quartz. See, both of them actually are made of iron oxide, but the slight difference is the color. This one's more golden yellow and the other one is more of a red color. So this one, I actually got this from one of our local crystal shops in Las Vegas. This actually comes in a free form and the golden healer quartz comes in a touchstone or palm stone. This type of crystal is said to be the crystal of resolution, relaxation, and stability. Cool. Let's discuss polychrome jasper. Polychrome jasper, also known as desert jasper, is a variety of jasper that was discovered in 2008. This amazing type of jasper is the crystal of new beginnings, courage, and vitality. It is associated with all seven chakras, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra. You can even see different colors on this polychrome jasper. You'll see a hint of gray, which is right here. It even has some brown colors, tan, and red. The cause of having polychrome jasper to have these colors are caused by the inclusions of iron. This type of jasper reminds me of connecting to Mother Earth. I haven't actually worked with polychrome jasper yet, but that is something that I could probably use during meditation or I could probably even like hold it and bring it with me or even put it in my pocket or backpack and use this to connect with nature. That is something I'm probably gonna work on. But other than that, I love these colors and they look amazing too. It looks so beautiful too. Cool. Next, I'm going to be discussing Imperial Topaz. Check this out. It looks pretty tiny. And I love this peachy orange color to it too. And Topaz is one of my favorite crystals and gemstones as well. So Imperial Topaz is said to be the crystal of manifestation, luck and good fortune, opportunities, creativity, and courage. I guess this type of mineral or gemstone is so tiny. This is actually used to create beautiful rings and other jewelry, even necklace too. Cool. And last but not least, 
This is Libyan Desert Glass Tektite. Libyan Desert Glass, a natural glass and silica tektite that was used as ornaments during the ancient Egyptian times, is said to be a stone of transformation, wisdom, and intuition. You'll find Libyan desert glass on some of the uh, ancient Egyptian artifacts. Libyan desert glass was actually used for jewelry and even other artifacts during the ancient Egyptian times. They value this type of glass too. Libyan desert glass is not only used during the ancient Egyptian times, but also they have some other crystals and gemstones that they've used, just like lapis lazuli. See? This type of la uh, uh, lapis lazuli, um, I didn't get this at the gem show. So I've been owning this since last year. Lapis lazuli consists of lazurite, pyrite, and calcite. Lapis lazuli is said to actually help with tapping into your inner wisdom. Libyan desert glass tektite is actually a natural glass. What is mainly tektite? Some sources say that tektites are unique. They form when a meteorite melts the surface of the earth where contact is made. So the heat of impact results in molten rock and sand being tossed into the air, raining back down as natural glass. In addition, tektites are named for the locations where they are found, just like moldavite, which is a green type of natural glass and moldavite is actually coming from the moldau river area of the czech republic so the common colors of this natural glass are yellow green gray to black and even comes with colorless natural glass as well i didn't know but that's pretty interesting though libyan desert glass or this type of tektite not only comes from Egypt, there's some variety of tektites that are coming from Tanzania, Vietnam, Czechia, China, the Philippines, the US, Australia, Kazakhstan, Thailand, and Libya. Cool. I'm going to bring back all of the crystals that I purchased at the jog show. So far, the experience that I have at the Jogs Gem and Jewelry Show in Las Vegas was pretty interesting. I uh, also tried to uh, stream live at the convention. The only problem that I uh, encountered is that I was using their uh, Wi-Fi. It ended up uh, having this uh, refracted video that was so hard to edit. And even it's so hard to actually watch it too. For those of you uh, that watch my live stream on that day, I apologize uh, for this type of situation. And now I'm learning something about this. The next time I'm gonna be doing a live stream, I'm just gonna have to do a pre-recorded video instead of performing a live stream on any of those sites because their wi-fi is not good i don't even have a portable wi-fi hotspot so that is something i'm gonna probably need to figure this out as well too but other than that in the meantime i'm gonna do a pre-recorded video and then i'm just gonna go ahead and use a streaming software called obs and all i have to do is that i'm gonna play back the pre-recorded video and stream it live. Is a uh, job show something that I would recommend to my viewers? Yes, it's a learning experience for me. And 
time because uh, I've never done uh, this type of live stream and uh, video recording at an event like this before. At least I'm learning something a lot. And when I went to another gem show out here in Las Vegas, uh, such as JCK, all I had to do is I had to pre-record the videos and I ended up editing the videos and then I ended up streaming them using OBS streaming software. Um, guess what? This video that I uh, streamed live was even better than the one that I uploaded as a live stream during Jog Show. And uh, both of these shows are part of the Las Vegas Jewelry Week. I kind of regret that too uh, when I did the Jog Show live stream. I should have pre-recorded instead but that is something i'm probably gonna have to do next year the next time i'm gonna be planning of attending jog show in las vegas also um i might have uh, also mentioned i was supposed to um feature these crystals that i purchased during the jog show uh via live stream but uh, i've decided to do a pre-recorded uh, video podcast instead of doing this live stream so thank you so much for being patient with me and I apologize for this delay. I've been so busy with a number of things. Also, because of the 4th of July weekend, especially the 4th of July week, I had to focus more on not only staying at home, but also being with my husband and spend some time together during that holiday. I had to take a break. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I just uh, would like to thank Jogs International Exhibits. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I've learned a lot during this Gem Show event. I just want to thank Jogs International Exhibits for this opportunity. Also, I just want to thank the vendors as well for the opportunity to purchase these crystals. For more information about Jogs International Exhibits and its upcoming events, visit jogshow.com. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share it. For more upcoming videos, shorts, live broadcasts, and podcasts, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Refer to the description below this video to learn more about the topic that is presented in this podcast. Until then, thank you for tuning in.